hunt for Harold Knight is on, but are the feds already too far behind the suspected killer? Knight was spotted in Rangeley, Maine, in the days after his wife was found dead in Fenville, but there, that's been since, uh, three weeks now since his last sighting, and new at six. We are learning that U.S. Marshals fear that Knight may be across the border right now in Canada. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker and photojournalist Ron Swanson made the trek to Maine to show us what investigators are doing to find Knight. Ken's live right now. Ken. Now, based on questions the feds are asking local businesses, if Harold Knight is still in this area, in this small town, he could be stuck without a vehicle. So agents and local police are visiting snowmobile shops, warning them to be on the lookout. Where can you go with, with a sled from here? Oh, you can go to Canada. You can go all the way to southern Maine. Um, the trail system is, is such that you can go anywhere in the state. Go to New Hampshire. Rangeley is surrounded by mountains and forests, just 15 miles from the Canadian border. Officers visited Henry Colby shop in Rangeley just two days ago. Asking, you know, if, if anyone had approached me for buying a snowmobile with cash or renting with cash. He recognized the photo they showed him of 66-year-old Harold Knight, the man who allegedly strangled his wife Sarah at their home in Fenville. Knight checked into a motel in Rangeley on January 15th, but checked out four days after that, the last confirmed sighting. The feds say he abandoned his car 40 miles south of Rangeley, then hitchhiked back here. They don't believe he is getting any help, and a snowmobile could be his only escape. So if you wanted to run, that'd be a good way to go? If you knew what you were doing, I mean, it's not an easy way. I mean, you'd have to have the clothes, you'd have to have the gear, you want a good machine. Knight is familiar with this area. He and his wife lived 70 miles to the south before moving to Michigan. At one snowmobile shop in town, they found his wife's name in their computer, showing she had been in Rangeley in March 2014. They're a couple, couple weeks behind him, I think, but they didn't sound overly optimistic either on finding him. Agents have been in and out of the IGA the last couple weeks, the last time just two days ago. He says Knight shopped there once on January 16th. Some sandwiches, chips, um, a bottle of liquor, I can't remember what. I think it was a vodka or something. Chips, snacks, soda. Not exactly the shopping list of a fugitive. So it sounded like it was more a day tripper. That's what day trippers kind of buy. Local police report a possible sighting just outside town earlier this month. A man walking along the road at night during a snowstorm, though that has not yet been confirmed. Live in Rangeley, Ken Colker, 24-hour News 8. All right, Ken, thank you for that report tonight.